Hi everyone, my name is Andy Mason, thanks for coming to our website. I'm joined with Dr Stuart McFarlane today, I've come to Cheltenham to visit him and we're going to go through a few questions that we've been asked and there's no shortage of questions so uh, no further messing around, we'll launch straight into it Stuart if that's okay with you. Sure, <clears throat> fire away. Uh, I trained some Wing Chun Kung Fu when I was still a student many years ago. Uh, actually training with Hong Kong students who were over in the UK and that was way back in 73, 74, 1973, 74, not, not 18, 18. not 18. <laughs> 73, 74 was the height of the Bruce Lee craze. Bruce Lee was, you know, the, one of the, a major movie star by then, at least amongst um, East Asians and particularly Hong Kong Chinese and the height of the Wing Chun Jeet Kune Do Kung Fu craze. So that got me started in Wing Chun Kung Fu, which was Bruce Lee's core style. That's what he trained in Hong Kong. On a sort of moral lesson that I've learned from Tai Chi, uh, I'd say that persevere and be open. Never finish training and learning. Never, ever think you know it all because you definitely don't, and I certainly don't. Mm. Always be willing to learn something new. Always be willing to see things in a new perspective. And that is also linked to the bodily awareness and the attention and the quality of focus that you are open enough to be able to refocus, adjust, take a new perspective. Um, and, and I think that is the, the mark of a true martial artist. They've got an openness. Good point. Yeah, no, they're not threatened, they're not um, a massive ego. They are always a student in that sense. And I am always a student, you know, I, I'm always wanting to learn, uh, you know, in this physically based mind body discipline as well as in an academic sense. I always want to learn more. I'm a perpetual student. As, as Master Han says in the new Karate Kid movie, uh, there's no such thing as bad students, only bad teacher. All right. So you can lay on you know, a lot of the responsibility for people failing on the teachers, bad teachers. Just ask Jackie Chan. <laughs> <laughs> the real secret to Tai Chi is relax and sink. You sink, and the only way to sink that body weight into the ground is to be relaxed in your connection to the earth, even if it's a carpeted floor. You have a relaxed connection through the soles of the feet into the ground, and that is what gives you your root sinking. Relax and sink. Uh, a relaxed connection to the earth gives you incredible power gives you groundedness and it gives you groundedness physiologically tremendous strength because you're not using your strength you're using the strength of the earth it gives you groundedness mentally because you've dropped and lowered your awareness your focus of your breathing initially is in the dantian or hara in japanese uh, down in the abdominal cavity and your center and gravity is relaxed and sunk In the West, most people, and even some so-called teachers of Tai Chi, don't know that Tai Chi Chen is a martial art. And obviously that means that many teachers of Tai Chi in Europe and the United States don't know how to teach the applications of Tai Chi as a martial art, because they don't understand it as a martial art. Historically, Tai Chi is a martial art, that's what it means. Um, supreme, ultimate boxing. Chen means fist or boxing. That's the last word of the three word hmm. uh, of this system. It is a martial art. Um, and a good teacher should know something of that and know how to teach it. Uh, but it is many other things as well, of course. So it has definite defensive it does. attributes that you it's can use. It's a great preventative health system. It's a great system of moving meditation. It's a great therapeutic and relaxation system. But these are 
you know, derived from its effectiveness and its ground rootedness historically in an extremely effective Chinese martial art. The worst way to practice it is if you're tense, stressed and, and angry. As I said uh, before, the mind and body are one and a tensed up body uh, will stop the mind working correctly and an agitated and stressed mind will cause the body to be tense and rigid and beset with physical problems over the long term, you know, repeated stressful episodes will cause and manifest phys physically and you, in, uh, and, and you will have all sorts of physical problems. So having said that, maybe the best time to do Tai Chi is when you're tense, stressed and angry because it, you can't do Tai Chi in that state so it will force you to take a new perspective and to, and to, to shed that anger and that tension and to just get on with your practice. So it's both the best and the worst time. Uh, persevere, train with good teachers, and train every day. The fundamental one is that it takes years to learn. It doesn't. You can learn a short form, the, the 24 step form or the Chen Man Ching 37 step form in a month you can to learn the form. It does take years to master but it doesn't take long to learn um, and that's the beauty of it and the challenge of it. So it's wrong to say oh it takes years to learn Tai Chi, it doesn't. Mm. Um, the other wrong things that are people, people are told uh, that you can only learn Tai Chi properly if you're Chinese, which is clearly <laughs> nonsense. Um, but and people say you know the same about yoga. Oh, you can only be you really good at yoga if you're Indian. Clearly nonsense. There are loads of Indians, loads of Chinese, are rubbish at yoga, rubbish at Tai Chi. Loads of Westerners who are absolutely top notch mm. in Tai Chi and or yoga. And the other one we've we've already talked about that people say Tai Chi is not. A martial art and that isn't true it is a martial art they may not be interested in it as a martial art they may not teach it as a martial art they may not be interested in martial art applications but historically and culturally and in terms of the, the, the term for the system it is supreme ultimate boxing polar complete boxing Taiji Chen so it is a martial art Having said that, you're not going to be a red-hot martial artist through Tai Chi in four weeks. Um, but that applies in any martial art. Sure. Uh, and you're not learning, if you're doing Tai Chi applications, you're not really learning techniques. And certainly not in the initial phases. You're learning to ground and root your body. You're learning your own points of stability and balance. How to lower your centre of gravity how to lower your focus, to lower your focus of attention, how to relax under, under pressure, how to deal with pressure, how, if you like, to be so focused and aware that problems and attacks uh, often will not manifest, how to be so focused and aware you can talk your way out of them. Mm -hmm. And then if that doesn't work, further on down the line, after a great deal more training, how to deal with physical problems should they arise. I mean physical attacks. Mm -hmm.